The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the fantastic Friday, the December 31st Trader's Edge show, the last show of the year out there. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, it has been a, uh, and I just want to kind of, breaking from the normal opening out there and i just want to make sure i get this out uh, before we start getting the show and sometimes we can get carried away and all of a sudden run out of time so i wanted to say thank you to each of you that are listening now or those of you that might be listening on an archive each of you that have sent me an email over the year you've made my life easier to in doing a show so i appreciate that those of you who've I've been able to call in. I always really appreciate uh, that out there. And so we just simply love having you here. Uh, you make me a better person by allowing me to share with you my craft. And uh, each of you or many of you have uh, taught me things as well. So uh, we're all one team out here. This is the TFN Tiger family. And so I want to wish you and yours a, a happy and a safe new year out there. And, uh, and again, just say how grateful that I am uh, to be able to be here with you each day, typically from one to two. Sometimes we do that show from eight to nine in the morning and uh, so I just wanted to uh, uh, share that with you and I do wish you a happy new year now you know how it goes out here, and that is that I would love to hear from you. And so you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't call in, again, you can send me an email. Send it early because yeah, we don't have any control over these Internet service providers. Oftentimes, uh, I will get off the air, and there's two or three emails that have come in uh, really towards the end of the show. So if you can send it early, steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, if you would be good enough to write radio show question, that way I can get right to your question and sort through the uh, – you know, the junk that uh, tends to come in often and always, and I mean by the minute. And uh, the other option is if you're in the Tigers, then you can always send me a message, either private or uh, public out there. So let's go ahead and get this show started on December 31st, last trading day of the year for 2021 out there. And as we begin the day, we've got a little bit of a mixed bag. That mixed bag is really flattish type markets. The Dow's up 30 points, the S&P two points, NASDAQ's off 35. Russell is really flat, 81 cents. Semi's up 10 bucks. Tranny's up 114. They're not flat out there. Lead the charge to the upside. You got buy on a tech. That's up six dollars, seven bucks, about two and a half percent. Alta Beauty is up six bucks, a little over one and a half percent. Home Depot up six bucks, one and four tenths percent. Moderna is up six bucks, or about six bucks, two percent. To the downside, it is Amazon that's the leader, dollar wise, seventeen bucks, a half a percent. Mercado Libre eleven bucks or eight tenths percent. Google's up eleven bucks, four tenths. MicroStrategy down one to three tenths percent. That is about eight buckaroonies. Uh, Novavax off seven. That's about five percent. To the uh, downside. So let's do this here. There were three requests that came in towards the end of the show yesterday that I was unable to get to. And so I've saved those. So let's get to those first. This first one coming from Mike P. Mike says, hey, Steve, uh, how does ARK, A-R-K-K, look? You're short. Thought to break 89. Thank you. So we're, we have the three panel charts here for uh, the ARK ETF, ARKK. And um, from a profile standpoint, what you have, so you thought it would break 89. The bottom of that daily profile, Mike, is at $91.02. And then you have a brand new profile that's formed this week. It is bullish in structure. And the bottom of that is held, so it's 92.71. And as we take a look at the monthly set of profiles, price is trading just below the bottom of that, which is at 196.90. We're at 95.90. <clears throat> so you're short <clears throat> and you're expecting it to break 89 um you've got a lot of buyers in the 91 the 92 and even in the uh, 96 uh, 90 area out there so let's go take a look at the other chart see if we can see some other signals out here so when we take a look at arkk this is the daily time frame chart what we can see here mike is that on the trading day of december 17th this generated and confirmed a roads momentum indicator bottom now price has found resistance where it should and that's in the center of its or that's at the center of its bearish structured daily profile 98 96 so here's the deal if you see a close above 98 96 you're going to likely see 
102.93. If you get a close above 102.93, you don't want to be short. In fact, I would say right now you really don't want to be short this because of the bottom signal on the daily time frame. But let's go see what the weekly has. Well, actually, I know what the weekly has because I was doing this off screen. So the weekly has a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. So there's a small A to B equals CD pattern out here. That small pattern I'm using as the A point, Mike, the uh, high from June 28th of 2021, the low of October 4th, and then the C point, uh, about a 0.75% retracement, 0.786, the high from November 1st. So it makes the one-to-one. -one. The confirmation of that was the bullish hammer candle that took place a week that began December 13th. Now you're inside this bullish structured uh, weekly profile out there. So the daily has a bottom. The weekly has a bottom. Um, if you stay short, that's cool, but uh, be careful if you see a close again above 98.95, you'd have to question that. And above 102.92, you want to be long, not short, A-R-K-K. -K. So, Mike, thanks so much for all of the requests throughout the year out there, and uh, especially thanks for uh, waiting overnight to get the answer to your question. Um, we've got a question here from Rich. Rich goes on to say, could you please look at AFRM? So let's go get that up on our screen out here because we absolutely can. And uh, you've got a small position and you're looking to add. So this is a firm holdings trading inside its bullish structure daily profile above the center level. So what this is suggesting to you and I, Rich, is the price should make a move to 116.01. But at 111.27, that's the bottom of its weekly profile. So the real battle ground that you've got to deal with here is 111.27. The price can close above that. Uh, then you're on to something you want to add to it. Let's go see if there's a bottom, uh, any kind of bottom signal out here for AFRM. We'll pull over the uh, daily time frame, the white background charts. And so surely I can see several A to B equals CD patterns. I, I can see, you know, yesterday was a bull sash candle. So that's confirming the bottom here. So, uh, Rich, I see the reason to be long. And if you're looking to add, then I'd say, you know, I, I, the range would be now. Or 95, I mean, if we really want to get uh, technical, between 95.05 and 99.62, you're trading at 103.27. I don't have anything to suggest is going to pull back to that level, but you do have your buy signal. On uh, the weekly time frame chart, just don't have enough data out here. I don't have any kind of a, uh, and the monthly surely is not going to help me there. So let's get back to the black background chart, see if there's anything else to help us. There really isn't. So on the weekly, you know, this thing broke out, as you know, broke out big time, big gap to the upside on August 30th, 79 million shares. The next week it was 73 million shares. Next week was 74 million shares, 114 million shares. So and you're pulling back with uh, with what? 68, 23 last week, you're 27 this week. So it seems like the selling to the downside is gone. So if you're looking to add. I have to say about now is the time to do that if you'd like and uh, watch uh, the price behavior as it gets to 111.27. If you clear that, then you're up to the 116.01 area. So, Rich, thanks so much for writing. Oh, there was a second request. I see that now. ACLS. So let's put this up on the screen here. And let me get that on the white background charts as well. And what we'll do is uh, we'll take a look at Excellus Technologies, which is trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles out here. So it's looking muy bueno, Ricardo. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So ACLS uh, looking very bullish, as we pointed out before we went to that breakout here. In the daily time frame, uh, Rich, the only issue that you might have uh, would be uh, Monday through Wednesday of next uh, week. Uh, today's going to become bar number seven of a TD9 count. So you need to see t Monday and Tuesday's bar out there. But by Tuesday... Tuesday to Wednesday, you could have a TD9 count top that would suggest you get some type of a pullback. Now, the pullback would be the oscillator and change line, currently printed at 71.57. That's the only thing that I see, other than if there were to be a bearish reversal candle that would also form, that would signal a, a short-term top as well. Otherwise, the weekly chart is saying, hey, I don't know what kind of top stuff you guys are talking about. I just took out Stevie's TD9 count top. I just took out Stevie's Rhodes Mintum indicator top for the weekly time frame. Nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern out there and that's what you've got for the weekly so that's why i think the you'd get a short-term top um monday through when uh, monday through wednesday of next week and uh, some type of retracement and then i'd look to short-term time frame charts to load up i don't see anything wrong with the monthly chart either out there so everything here looks pretty good acls other than looks like we might get a little bit of a pit stop here to refuel um early next week so rich thanks so much for writing in and um happy new year uh, to you as well peter wanted to take a look at the market profiles for the ES Mini. So what we'll do to give Peter that information, we'll just simply come over here, and now you've got your quad set of profiles. So you've got your daily, weekly, your monthly, and your quarterly set of profiles. Now in the case of the ES Mini, price is trading above all of those levels out here. Uh, especially if, in fact, the ES Mini closes above 47.33 today. That is the top of the weekly profile. So there's your profiles for you. Hopefully you're watching us on Tiger TV or your inside of the den. And you've got your daily, weekly, monthly, and your quarterly profiles. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? And Happy New Year to you. And same to you and uh, your family, Steve. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I have to start off by making a declaration, uh, not not of independence per se, but uh, of uh, thank you for the service you provided to TFNN and its listening audience here this past year, as uh, as you've done in preceding years. Uh, it's very helpful to many, my, uh, myself included. 
Well, you're welcome, and uh, and thank you for all the contributions that you make inside the uh, Tiger's Den and to uh, into our listening audience. So when you call, uh, uh, it's like that E.F. Hutton commercial. Uh, people listen. So you're calling about <laughs> gold. You're calling about gold, and you, you know you're a master when it comes to uh, Goldilocks. So everybody is interested in hearing what John's take on uh, gold is, or or what your questions are, and we'll work through those things together. Steve, I'd like to uh, ask for your assistance, please, in navigating the rally and levels that it uh, levels of resistance that show up on your work as it heads higher, assuming it continues to do so. Yes. Just uh, preface this discussion by saying you and I spoke on your show, I believe it was Tuesday, that was the 14th, that was the day before the FOMC meeting, Yes. and we were talking about the decline in that gold price into December the 14th, and the, uh, the possibility that, lo and behold, a uh, tradable low might occur either uh, before at the time of the FOMC or shortly thereafter. So we talked yes. about that on the 14th. The, uh, the price action subsequently uh, speaks for itself. So now that it's uh, speaking and it's rallying, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, the resistance levels that you see uh, gold has to contend with, uh, assuming it is a bull phase. Right. So just one resistance level. So that's an easy question to answer. And for that, we just simply take a look at our weekly profile chart out here. So we've had gold consolidating with inside its weekly profile for the last five weeks. It has explored the bottom of that profile, which is held, which is 1761.40. It has also explored or is exploring as we speak right now, the top of that weekly profile. And John, that's printing out at 1828.50. And right now, We've got gold trading out at 1827.10. So if price could close right here, anything above 1828.50, and if we were to get a close above that again next week, then we've got two consecutive closes above the top of weekly profile and really supports the A to B equals CD pattern that we see on the daily time frame. So the only level of support right now that gold has to deal with is the top of the weekly profile. Once above that, there will be one other level of profile support. That's assuming no other new profiles form. And that would take us to our monthly time frame. And that's the 1868.70 level. So back when we take a look at it on a weekly basis, back on the week that began November 15, 2021, we actually had two consecutive closes the week before and that week that were above the top of weekly profile. And so somebody would say, I would even say to myself, well, wait a minute here, Steve-O, you just told me that two consecutive closes above resistance, you're gonna move to the upside. And that's a true statement, but we then have to go to the next level. And that next level would take us from a weekly chart then to the monthly chart. And we can see that that is exactly where price found resistance, 1868.70. So that would become the next area. And as I mentioned, we've got uh, different A to B equals CD patterns that you could draw out here for gold for its daily time frame. Right now, if I use the conservative one, I would be using that swing point that you mentioned in essence from December 15th, that marked the low. You could use the high from the trading session of December 17th, and then the low of two-day retracement out here, pretty common to have two bar knee-jerk reactions. That's low from the 21st. One to one gets us to 1847. One to 1.272 gets us to 1864. As you know, gold typically does more than a one to one A to B equals CD. So this is saying, hey, that supports the one to 1.272 level. It takes us right into the top of that monthly profile. So John, uh, did that answer your question? And is there anything else on these charts that uh, we need to take a look at? It does answer the question, and I'll just uh, share my response or reaction, rather, yeah. to the data you just discussed. How interesting, Steve, that uh, uh, the weekly profile, the top of the weekly profile, going back this uh, in the entire year, frankly, yeah. that twice there were rallies where we had, let's call it calculated resistance, top of a profile. Yes. And you use that little rule that I've used for, dec for decades, frankly, and that is, okay, you've got calculated resistance. We want to see two consecutive closes, you know, above sure. or below. 
and is that two consecutive is just merely to try to um, uh, to eliminate uh, uh, whipsaws, uh, fake outs, that sort of thing. But in the case of Comex Gold on that weekly, twice the two consecutive closes idea over calculated resistance got uh, schnookered, yep. I might call it. Yeah, How yes. interesting that that happened. I, uh, I've got my guesses as to why that occurs. But uh, that's a discussion for another day. But um, so, John, uh, you mentioned the word "snooker" going you, forward, and uh, and and pay attention closely. Yeah, John, uh, have you played the game snooker? <laughs> I, I have. Yep. It's a great. Is that? Yep. I mean, uh, it's an awesome pool table. Uh, you know, I haven't played that for years, but uh, one of my favorite uh, pool games to play out there. And then golf on a snooker table. Hey, John, have a happy new year. Always good to hear from you. I'll look forward to speaking to you hopefully next week. Be safe out there. See you so TFN. You bet. We'll be right back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. we got a couple of callers on the line. Let's get right to them. The first one is Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Happy New Year to you and your family. Happy New Year, Steve, and I want to thank you again for all the great things that you've taught us that uh, really helps my trading when I can trade. That's great. Um, Steve, That's great. what's your what's your long term haven't uh, been listening to your show the last few days, so I was wondering 
Um, with everything you see, how do you think this is going to play out? Wow. Hey, Mike, we're having um, real trouble with your phone, uh, uh, cutting, cutting in and out. Uh, could you try to could you try to state restate that question again? I couldn't hear hardly anything. Yeah, where do you think the Dow will go in the uh, first couple of months of 2022? South. I think it's uh, I think like uh, many people that are coming to our great state here in Florida, the Dow is going to do the same thing. Although it's not necessarily this destination is uh, is uh, is here, but I think uh, I think we have uh, we may have seen the highs. And we may okay. have seen the highs, Mike, for one to three years. Okay. Um, uh, really, kind of what I'm waiting for here is a better topping signal uh, from the uh, uh, from the. Uh, so let me just do this here. I know I normally switch over to the indice charts uh, for the uh, two o'clock update, and, and I, I can do that again. But I'm just going to switch over. So the Dow right now still has its uh, what the heck? Here we go. Still has its valid TD9 count top. That's in the upper left-hand corner. So we've got a valid topping pattern here. The S&P, you know, I've got it. Does have an A to B equals CD to the upside that was confirmed with yesterday's bearish engulfing candle. So that's got a top. The NDX 100 still has its top. Uh, that's Rhodes momentum indicator signal for back on November 22nd. The uh, Russell's got a top. The semis have a confirmed top. The transports, I'm just going to kind of leave off to the side because I'm not sure what it's doing out there. Uh, the NASDAQ Composite has a top. I'm not showing that. The New York Stock Exchange has a top. So what we're doing here, Mike, is we're coming into that unfavorable seasonal cycle. Short right. period of time. It's usually the uh, uh, at the uh, end of the first week of January through about the last week of uh, January. And we still may get that. But to answer your question, so we've got everything that's in place here for the markets to head lower. Um we probably need to get that spot file, not probably, we need to get the spot file of above the 50-day exponential moving average to give us an additional confirmation. But we've got tops all over the place, so if I were to answer your question differently, I would be disingenuous, and I have no interest in doing that. That doesn't mean I'm right, but if you were to say, you, know, you're, you ask the question, what are the indices telling us? The indices are saying we're ripe for that normal decline, but maybe this is something more than just that normal decline into the end of January. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, Steve, and that's that's all I ask for. What evidence do you see? And um, you know, we'll we'll just take it from there. And absolutely, uh, I know. Like l last year, after we had the big um, <clears throat> the big drop in all the markets, um, you know, in in February of 2020. Yes, and I I know um, you were thinking of a scenario where we could kind of repeat the pattern that we had in 29. And yes. it, it didn't work out that way. And my opinion is if we did not have the Fed intervening, I believe what you thought was going to happen would have happened. Right. Um, that's my that's my opinion, because back in 29, we didn't have all this intervention with the Fed going on. Uh, there was intervention in the Fed back in the 1920s and uh, in, in its ability. So now the Fed back then uh, had uh, different branches. It was it was a different setup than what we have now out here. Right. But I think that what what you and I can do is just so methodically take this stuff one one step at a time. So we know that ideally when something makes a top, we like to see some type of topping pattern. It could be the A to B right. equals CD pattern that Larry Pesavento has taught us. It could be a test rejection of a swing point on light volume that Tom O'Brien has taught us. It could be a, a wave number seven count that Basil Chapman has taught us. It could be a power law vector uh, uh, move on much lighter volume along that leg that could help us to identify a top. Or it could be the topping signals that I look for, the TD9 count, the Rhodes momentum indicator signal, wave number mm -hmm. seven, and so forth. And so we've got those tops that are in place out here. We know we're coming into an unfavorable seasonal time frame. And uh, what that says to both you and I is that what we want to do out here, Mike, is we really want to be observant of the weekly TAS market program profile levels and uh, because okay. they have been extraordinarily helpful for you and I to be able to interpret what the message of the markets has been. And so we can see that coming back into that February time frame, price closed below the bottom, that's where my cursor is, and it's the right-hand corner panel for the S&P 500, closed below the bottom of its weekly profile. We actually went on to go ahead and make a TD9 count bottom out here. But then as price started moving up, each pullback that we have saw found support 
at the bottom of that weekly profile, the most recent one being back on the week of November 29th. So what you and I also know is if the markets do will pull back out here, that things will give us a serious message to the downside if we see a close below 44.9650. And like John uh, had mentioned, really two consecutive closes below that. But right now, just one consecutive close would get the hair on the back of our neck to stand up. So we'll just use the we'll just use these tools that we have here to help help us interpret the markets and right now it looks like a top and a price can break through 44.9650 that's when the thought process is this could be a year or more of a decline would be right. likely but not until then so i have my thought process and now we just have to let the market communicate to us all right well thank you Dokey. and hey, uh you bet. have a great 2022 steve I will, and you, and thanks so much for being a part of the TFNN family. Uh, let's go to our next caller, and it is Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. How about you, sir? I'm doing well, and Happy New Year to uh, you and your family. Uh, how will you celebrate uh, New Year's today? Uh, today, I'm at a mission. I, I help the um, homeless and the, uh, and the, the, the veterinar veterinarians. I mean, uh, that uh, the, the, uh, I, will, I will explain that some other time to you, uh, what, the, what is the story on that. Uh, but uh, today, I'm going to be with the family. And we're gonna have a good time. And then today is my my birthday. I'm the th I'm a, a, a December thirty first born. Happy birthday! Uh, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> Thank great. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That is, that's um, great. I don't want to take very much of your time, sir. Yes. Um, uh, I have I have two questions. One is visa is a short from here, and RBLX is long from here. You don't have to explain. Just say yes or no, and I will I, I will just walk away. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, shoot. I just, oh, I can't believe I just did this. I just hit the, a wrong button on my system. Okay. So uh, let's first take a look at the visa. Now, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to go back. I'm going to move away from your charts uh, for the time being. Just go at least take a look at my three panel charts and see if I can uh, figure this out. But I lost access right now. Looks like for a bit of time to my uh, white background charts because I did something pretty stupid. Okay. So let's Thank say... You. Let's say that this is, so the question is, is this potentially a, sh a short? I can see that from the standpoint, Gar, hold on through this break if you would be kind enough to do that. And then yeah, we'll, yeah, uh, sure. we'll go yeah, ahead sure. and finish this. We'll take a look at the visa. And I'm going to try to get my other system uh, set up so we can get back to that as well. This is Steve Rhodes with Garo, who was an absolute angel. He's our angel, folks. We're glad he's with us today. And happy birthday. We all got to start singing happy birthday to Garo. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, we're taking a look at uh, Visa. We're on the line with Gar out here, and uh, so uh, Garo uses the parabolic parabolic SAR tool and and and, and a number of other tools, uh, some some moving averages and so forth. But on my system here for Visa, Garo, my parabolic SAR dot is at two nineteen seventy three, and I was going to come back to you. I still am going to come back to you and say what I'm going to say, which is that um, I need price to spike two nineteen seventy three. Get just above that either today, which is not likely to happen, uh, or Monday and Tuesday. If we got that, then I would get the sell signal. But if that happens, you get the buy signal out there because price will have hit that down, or I believe it will. What I see taking place right now in Visa, and why I say it is not the short, is because when I don't have the pattern to suggest that, the pattern that I see on the daily time frame, Garo, is an oscillator and change line that changed colors four days ago. When that line changes colors, it tells us about an impending test of price in that level. If, in fact, price tests that level and bounces off of it, that would be a bullish test. Very similar, as an example, to what we saw take place in gold yesterday. So I'll just show the example to you and everybody else out here. Here we can see gold. We're looking at the daily time frame chart. The oscillator and change line changes color yesterday. What do we have? We have price pull back, test and reject it. Now we're getting the signal of an A to B equals CD to the upside inside gold, although you and I know that price is testing a key level of resistance, the top of the weekly profile out there. But this is the type of test setup that typically takes place out here. And so right now with regard to Visa, without seeing any kind of a topping signal in my work, it does not look to me like it is a short out there. Instead, price just pulling back to test that green oscillator and change line. And that's the daily time frame. In the weekly chart, I don't see it looks to me like this wants to make a move to the 222.90 area. So that's my uh, my short answer. I don't recall the second symbol that you wanted, but first with regard to Visa, is there any additional information that I might be able to provide or share with your a question to answer that may be from, from, from something that I just said? No, sir. All the numbers are the same uh -oh. that I have. It's Hello? very similar. It was very, oh, very, yeah. I had doubts it's in Carol's it. It's Carol's birthday. So How can we lose Carol? That's great. Oh, maybe it's me. Next one is RBLX, oh, please. Is it a long? Can anybody hear no? me in the den? Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? I think we're back. Uh, switch to audio. I don't know what just happened. Uh, well, you hear me. Okay. And Garo's talking. So uh, <clears throat> so let's do this. Uh, and my apology, Garo. I can't hear. Right There's now, no I can't hear anything. Um, oh, I, I hear a little bit. Garo, can, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. So here's what we're going to. Ah, okay. What was, so uh, on Visa, is there anything else that I can answer for you? No, sir. All the numbers are the same with me. I, I had doubts in it. And that's why I called okay. you. So I'm not going to short it. Uh, I, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, the next one is RDLX, please. Is that a long from here or no? RDX? No, no, RB, Robert Boy, Larry X ray. Perfect. Oh, Roblox. Okay. That's right. You did say Roblox out there. So let's, uh, yes, let's pull that up. RB. 
LX. And the question is, is the question here, is this a short as well? No, no, no. This, I want to I want to go long. I want to okay. make sure that it matches your numbers. Perfect. Okay. So here's what uh, when I take a look at the daily time frame chart here for Roblox out here right now, in order for me to say it's a long price would need to close above 10528 or thereabouts. You got to give a little bit of, you know, maybe it's 105.30. Uh, but that's that green oscillator and change line that is on my screen out here right now. So I do see what looks like an A to B equals CD to the downside that was completed. That was on the trading day of December 17th when it generated that bull sash candle. What then transpired after that was price got into a daily profile and made its way right up to that green oscillator and change line. That was on December 27th. So I would have said if you had called me on the very next day, December 20th, that yes, that there was a confirmed bottom. Your battleground would be 103.09 and the oscillator and change line. Now I would have to say the same thing. So if we can see a close above 105.28, then that would confirm that, yes, this is a bottom and price should continue to move higher. That's what the daily chart says. There's not enough data on the weekly and monthly here to get any really good, clear uh, signals or information. So it does look like it has bottom. The question is, is it just a counter trend move up to that green oscillator and change line? And uh, you also have the top of its daily profile, 105.88. So you got 105.88 as resistance, yeah. and you have um, 105.28. Any questions about this no, fine. Uh, set of charts? That, that was, yeah, that was great. That was great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the same numbers. Same, all the same numbers. Uh, I got it. Uh, I do thank well, you perfect. so much, sir. Thank you for all the services for the for this year. I hope the very best for you for 2022 for you and your family. Thank you, sir. Be, be God with you. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. And uh, thank you for helping others. And that's a wonderful thing that Gara was doing. And happy birthday and happy new year. You got to love that. Uh, so I thank think you, we've sir. gotten through. You, you, you bet. Uh, always good to hear from you, Gara. So uh, I think we've gotten through the callers at this stage. Let's make sure. Yeah. And uh, so let me get back to a couple of questions uh, here to see if we can get through everything. Uh, this next one. Coming in from uh, Jim in uh, uh, Reading, Massachusetts, I, I believe, or Reading. Um, Happy New Year! But uh, huh, huh, can you can you go over daily, weekly, monthly profiles for CTXX? Yes. Yeah. So let me get back to that set of charts here, and we'll give those uh, profile levels to you. They'll certainly populate on the uh, screen. And so again, here the ticker symbol that we're looking at CTXS out here. And what will populate on the screen momentarily are the daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. So the daily profile, you have resistance at 97.50, support at 90.56. On the weekly profile, everything looks pretty good here because price is above the top of the profile, which was 91.34, so that looks good. And price ran into resistance, so your real battleground out here is gonna be the bottom of that monthly profile. Price is below that, this is now gonna be the third month below the bottom of that profile. That level out there, uh, Jim, is 9964. Now, let me get uh, this set of charts here, even though you didn't ask for it, on my white background charts. Just want to see if there's anything else here that you and I need to be aware of. So, what do we see out here? So, uh, the oscillator and change line changed colors four days ago. So, price has stalled since then. You also had the top of that profile. What you're looking for here is you're looking for a test of that green oscillator and change line. So I don't know if it's the line moving higher, price moving lower, things moving sideways, but that's really the next uh, testing level on the daily time frame to give you an indication as to what it wants to do. Typically, if price can pull back, test, and reject that green oscillator and change line, that then becomes the C point of your A to B equals CD to the upside. The weekly time frame out here, curious if we've got a bottom, and we do. So this has a nice TD nine count bottom. So after the pullback that you expect on the daily time frame, Price should resume itself to the upside, and 108.50 would become that price target out there. So, Happy New Year to you! Uh, uh, you're welcome for, uh, for for what you uh, said uh, next out there. Very kind of you. And uh, you bought it due to the TD9 weekly count. I love you for doing that. So you just made my year, Jim, uh, because, you know, I share with everybody these tools. You actually put it in place and you took that long position. So uh, kudos for you for uh, doing that. And thanks so much for writing in. And uh, again, have a happy new year to you as well. So we're about to go to a break here in about uh, five seconds. So um, I won't go into anything new just yet, although it's kind of a nice call from John. Uh, as I mentioned, the game of pool. So as a kid growing up, uh, my dad and his buddies, uh, we were in the pool halls every Friday and Saturday. And that's where I learned how to play pool. When I was 13, I won my first trophy. 
I love playing that game snooker, but while they were playing snooker, I was playing the game billiards, three cushion billiards, and that is Steve-O's favorite game to play. We'll be back in just a few. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, folks, so uh, we've got Walmart up on our screen here. This was uh, from somebody inside the Tiger's Den, really in a large consolidation, the bottom of which is around the 134-ish area, the top of the consolidation, 150. Uh, you've got price above the top of its daily profile, trading with inside its monthly profile. So the real resistance right now for Walmart is going to be 147.31. If price can close above that, you get back to the top of the uh, consolidation, which is 150.08 out there. I'm not going to be able to get to all the questions. I apologize for that out here. Uh, this next question coming in from David in Tomball, Texas. And I'd like to take a look at the XLU. Uh, so let me get that up here, the XLU. And, uh, David, I'm just going to go right to the charts out there. Uh, and we said a weekly chart appears to be a top end of the ascending channel going back to 2009 so let's just take a look at the xlu charts out here and on a daily time frame i don't have any kind of a topping pattern right now in fact price is trying to take out its td9 count so if the xlu today closes above 7151 we're at 7150 right now if it closes above 7151 the signal is that it wants to move to higher ground you'd mentioned the weekly time frame chart out here and on the weekly time frame chart i don't have any type of a topping pattern yes price is getting back to the 
prior highs out there. And so that's where price could stall. That's the high from back in uh, February of when? Of uh, 2020. And that high out there is 71.10. We're at 71.49 right now. So it's taking out that high. So just come back to the daily time frame. If you get it close above that TD9 count top, that's one from December 16th out here, David. That suggests that the XLU will continue to move higher out there. So, uh, folks, we're at the end of the show. Again, uh, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Again, how grateful I am for each of you that are listening, each of you that call in, each of you that write me letters, good, bad, or otherwise out there. And uh, be safe out there. This is a uh, it's going to be a, just be safe. There's a there's a virus going around and it's a pretty contagious is what I hear. So uh, be safe out there. We'll see you next year. That means on Monday. Take care, folks.